Hey, so here we are in After Effects once again, <laughs> in our favorite tool. And uh, in this chapters or series or whatever, um, what we are going to try to imitate is something that I did uh, a while back, which is this effect of throwing uh, these photos or falling photos, or um, which is actually a project that I have available on my portfolio. Uh, so we are going to see how um, we are going to start with the assets, which in this case we we will only need uh, one asset, which is the floor, and and then we are going to try and imitate this. This project is one minute long, one minute and fifteen. Uh, we will do a shorter version of this, just so you can see that how we can um, achieve these effects. And um, there are a lot of nice things going on here. When the photos fall, uh, as you can see, it will move the other ones and such. So, okay, so let's make, and it will not be the same because even though I did this one and I'm going to explain um, how to do similar uh, effect, even if I want to recreate exactly the same, if I start from scratch, I will not get the same <laughs> results. I will get similar, but not uh, the same. So before we jump into After Effects, let's just check uh, the assets that we need to, to get. And in this case, I'm going to use uh, this stylable wood by Elemis. And... Um, in this in this particular chapter i want to explain a few things about using assets that are not created by us and in this case it's not created by me um so we are going to use um in this case uh one of these i already have downloaded the background here so in my case i'm going to use this version here uh, of course we can colorize this inside after effects but um, the point of this of this uh, video will be you cannot just go to let's say let's create a new tab here you cannot just go to google and search for wood floor or any other um, wood floor texture uh, we cannot just search and say, hey, I like this one, and I'm going to use it. Actually, I don't really like it. <laughs> it looks really synthetic. No, no, uh, I don't want to. It doesn't matter who did it. It's, it was done by an, any other person. Me, I couldn't do any better than this, but uh, I don't like the, the, the thing. But the most important is, if I go here, for example... And if I go to the page, I cannot just download this and use it. I will have to be careful with the licensing of the of the asset itself. So in this case, uh, actually, it's the first time I'm on this website. But uh, let's see. When we have the DMCA, nor, uh, normally it's a site that receives uh, files from multiple authors and this is risky for you using, especially if you are going to distribute your project file, it's going to be risky uh, because you never know who uploads. But uh, let's check the terms of service just quickly. Please read, ba -ba 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 -ba, if you are this, um, you are agree not to use the service. Of, yeah, this is normal. Um, okay, uh, quickly read, I don't see anything that allows me to use this. All efforts, actions, modification, or copy material from this site is strictly prohibited unless you have obtained written consent from the owner. So one of the ways is, hey, I want to use this. So let's contact the owner and get a written permission. So... And you can get a positive answer. Most most of the times that I do that, uh, I do get positive answers. Um, but uh, this just to say that it is dangerous to just grab something and um, and use it because it's your is not your own. 
uh, creation. So what uh, my advice is, uh, first of all, is uh, there are a few authors uh, that ask very few uh, or very little or nothing to use their assets. In the case of Elemis, it's one of the sites that I use. Um, and if we go to the licenses, I've got here already open. What it says is that all royalty free stock patterns, textures, etc., 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 are free for both personal and commercial projects. Okay. So you are free to use if, if you are going to do a project for you or for a client and you are going to render that project, but not including uh, anything inside the texture, uh, you are okay with this sentence here. But if you want to include the project, uh, which is uh, in this case uh, what I'm doing, and if I want to resell that project, for example, um, <coughs> we will need to keep on reading to see if it's possible. So you are allowed to use OP as the templates for both personal com and commercial projects unless you see free for only personal use. So uh, this, uh, the Elemis website has its own um, line systems. And we will check in, the, uh, uh, in a moment a few uh, more use licenses. So you may freely use them in software programs, iPhone skins, scrapbooking kits, web templates, Steam Forest themes, websites, print on demand, such, blah, 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 blah. You may redistribute them okay within projects such as those listed above but not by themselves so what this means is that i can use this in any of my projects i can redistribute uh, inside a part of the project which is uh, let me grab the video again which is what i have here so i'm redistributing uh, sorry <laughs> redistributing a this word is not coming out right <laughs> redistributing uh, i'm not gonna try again uh, this particular file but included in a in a project I'm not just redistributing the file as is which that is not allowed and it explains here if you use modified resource in your project we'd appreciate a link back to the resource page please don't link directly to the zip uh, link to the resource page so uh, what we do is to, to appreciate um, the, the creators of this and I usually do for my projects uh, not usually um, <laughs> first I give credit to all of them whether they ask or not um, but then there's another thing that we can help this this creators to do is a donation and uh, it's it doesn't hurt uh, one dollar here one dollar there uh, especially when you're creating projects that you you will receive money for them so Keep this in mind and read the licensings and always, always when you download and use it in your project, take a screenshot, take a screenshot of the license, grab a link to the license and to the asset uh, and save it on your folder. So you are, uh, let's say it passes one year or two years and the owner changes the license, which it's his right to do. Uh, you will have those screenshots uh, taken at that time that will prove uh, that you are using an old license and um, so you are safe uh, that doesn't mean that the author will not <laughs> force you to uh, to remove the project if it changes the licenses but uh, these uh, websites like lme's pixed and uh, graphic burger we will see here uh, they are serious designers they are they have well doesn't matter they are serious people so the uh, you won't get any kind of problem like that. So, but just to keep safe, screenshots and links, save them inside your folder of the project, and you are ready to go. So, let's move on. Uh, and I've got a, a tab here which is Creative Commons. This will be um, most of of the the the, the things uh, online will have uh, a general license, which is called the Creative Commons. And Creative Commons will give you different um different licenses let's let's choose a license here for example and this is if i want to create a license for myself uh, all my works are, are licensed and licensed but not with creative commons um i only have a few uh, that i give away for free creative commons but um, the point is that we can create this uh, for ourselves when we create something so let's just check something here allow adaptations of the work uh, to be shared yes and usually you will see this on on, um, 
on a website, uh, this symbol here. If we say no, we will have a different uh, type of license here and different symbol um, attribution, no derivatives. We cannot use this to make anything else. Uh, there's other option as well that you will see that is yes, as long as others share uh, alike. So um, if it's free, you will redistribute for free. You cannot make any um, income from that. So, but usually authors what do they? Yeah, a low commercial uses of this work. Yes. Um, so this is a license that you can use. And if we click here, we go to the attribution. So you are free to share copy and redistribute the material in a, any medium or format. Adapt, remix, transform and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. Yeah, the licensor cannot revoke these freedoms as long as you follow the license terms. Under the following terms, attribution, you, may, you must give appropriate credits. This means that you will have to give the credit to the author. And it's not much if we think it's not much giving credit back to the person that designed the project. So Whenever you publish a project on YouTube or Vimeo or whatever, um, you can just give the uh, author um, the license. Usually I insert inside the folder, uh, so any customer that gets my projects will have um, the attribution link besides the description on the, the main page where I have my um, where I have my project uh, listed. So. This is the, the, the attribution that you want to search. Uh, actually, I'm used to see attribution 3.0. This is 4.0. I don't know the difference between 3.0 or 4.0. Um, it's new. <laughs> and I'm not very updated with licenses. I'm not checking this every day. But um, it used to be 3.0. Now, let's go a little bit back. Creative Commons, if you, if you come to the website, it will have a tool here that can help you, which is Find CC Licensed Works. And in here, uh, they will have a few websites that um, will grant you that. So if you go to, let's say, Flickr. Man, you know, it's not going to... Okay, probably it's not going there. But if we go to click and we search for, let's say, beach, which is what we do in the summer here in Portugal, um, you will see here license, any license, no. Creative Commons only, commercial use allowed or modifications allowed. So let's select commercial use allowed. And this is in Brazil. Let's say, let's search if we have something in Portugal, by the way, with Creative Commons. Albufeira, yeah, which is near my home. It's about uh, 30 kilometers. So let's check the license here. Some rights reserved. So let's click. Attribution 2.0, share, copy, redistribute the material in any format, da, 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 da. attribution. Yeah, so as you can see, we were seeing the 4.0, and now we are seeing the 2.0. So you can use this particular picture here, and you can distribute the picture. Now, regarding pictures, there's a danger here. Let's go back. This one, I don't see any problem here. But let's say this picture here. Or this one, where we have a face. <laughs> uh, and the license says exactly the same as the other. You can share, copy, use commercially, blah, 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 blah. But does the person that uploaded the picture, which is in this case is Pedro Simões, and I'm not doubting, but this probably can be his family or, and he has permission. But what if he just took a random picture to this couple that were on the beach. Does this girl give permission to have a face in <laughs> a commercial project? So regarding pictures, there, there's more to it than, than just using the, the license. So uh, if it's a landscape or a tree or a, a rock <laughs> or, some, or a seagull, she won't complain. Uh, when regards to faces and people, it's a bit more 
um, there's more to it than, than just that. So let's close Flickr and the Creative Commons is explained. I'm going to give you another example, which is the Graphic Burger. Uh, excellent designs. Uh, I usually come here to see things that will later on inspire me to create uh, another project. Um, so let's say you want to use something here on your project. Let's say you want to use a traffic icons. You want to animate them in, uh, not now. Uh, you want to animate them in, in After Effects or something like that. So what Graphic Burger does is they have their own uh, license as well. So if we check, there's in the back and there's in the top. Uh, it's mostly the same as uh, elements that we saw here. So if we read the license, you are permitted to use the resource for any number of personal and commercial projects. You may modify uh, resources according to uh, include them in your work, such as websites, applications, or the material intended for sale. No attributional impact to this site is required. However, any credit will be much appreciated. So it's great to, to, to give some credit to, and when possible, make a small donation to buy him a coffee or something like that. Um, <coughs> now, you cannot redistribute, resell, lists uh, or an as is. So the same as uh, elements, which is fair. Uh, there's no point uh, in sharing as is or selling a uh, something that is free um, created by uh, Graphic Burger and <laughs> you're just taking advantage of it. Uh, that's not fair. So uh, this is another reasonable license. So that being said, um, you will have to see carefully the licenses. Usually for um, personal projects, uh, everything is uh, okay. Uh, most of, of the licenses will allow you to use any any assets, but you need to, to make sure uh, you will not violate any, any license for commercial and redistrib uh, redistribution. <laughs> Here I go again. I'm stuck with that word. Uh, that will be a more um, difficult issue. So regarding the assets, uh, this is it, and I'll see you on the next chapter.